way to go from Stewart's draft. Uh, I would ask the, the board to look at the economy. We're having a very serious problem in our economy. John Williams of Shadow Stats said that uh, uh, we went in a hole $6.6 .6 trillion. That includes Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, whole gambit. We're printing $85 uh, billion a month now. We are in extremely serious trouble, John. Please do not be like our federal government. I have lost total faith in my federal government. The reason is because we are a spiritually bankrupt nation. That's what, that is the root problem of everything. And we need to put God back in our schools. My son did not go to public school. At age 27, he paid off a $190,000 house. My daughter chose to go to school for the last two years, of the public school, the last two years of her life. She's been quite successful. She makes $25 an hour. I lost my job as a mail carrier because of harassment. And now I work at Melmont. Those people have integrity. But I only make maybe 50% of what I used to make. So I worked on my house for many years. My house, I know how much I'm going to pay in taxes if it goes up 10 cents. It'll be $312 more a year. And that's going to be a real struggle for me. Now I get some support from my uh, mother-in-law who lives at my house. But think of the economy. If you tax us too much, and the federal government is also taxing us more and more, and the state government does, then it's going to be a real struggle for everybody. I ask you to be not like our federal government, but be people of integrity. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Chief Kevin Wilson, Soap Fire Company. I live in the uh, pastor's electoral district. I um, just wondering who I can appeal to or who I can sign up with to get $9,000 a year for each of my volunteers. Or even just the county input of $3,365 for each of my volunteers. That would be a tremendous help for me. Uh, Dr. Bishop is a fine man, he's well educated, he's a good guy. Essentially, he's a CEO of a company. That's his position. He's supposed to steer that company, he's supposed to guide that company. Times are tough and they're getting tougher. Uh, our paychecks between my wife and I are uh, 50 to 60 dollars twice a month less because of federal taxes. If you raise it even 10 cents, I think I'm over 300 dollars a year. That's a tough thing for us, personally. I haven't had a raise in five years including a 5.7% 5 raise last year. I haven't had any of that. Um, my employer went through several years ago, and we took some pretty drastic measures. We adjusted the thermostats. We went through and installed uh, pretty cheap, but uh, infrared sensors that turn lights off in rooms that aren't being occupied. Um, we changed uh, incandescent light bulbs to high efficiency light bulbs, and it actually saved an employee. So I can go over the mountain tomorrow $10,000 a year more, minimum, possibly more than the qualifications. But I like my community. I like working in Augusta County and in Ford. I love my job. So I'm asking you to take that into consideration, these few things that I've brought to your attention tonight. And I really would like to have $3,365 per employee, uh, per and volunteer, if you can make that happen, it'd be wonderful. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christy Brigan. I'm from Kamora, Virginia. Um, I come and I thank you guys for letting us speak and I wasn't really planning on speaking so I'm a little nervous so forgive me. Um, I am a county resident and I am a teacher of Augusta County. Um, I just want to say very quickly that I respect that you guys gave us the um, three million. Thank you so much last year and that um, our homeschooled parents, I respect them for what they do but when I look across my classroom daily I don't see the parents of those students that are going to step up and do homeschooling every single 20 children that I have in my classroom. Um, I ask that we work together as a community, whether we get an increase in taxes or whether we get additional funding from you or from the federal and state, us teacher, the teachers of Augusta County are going to be there when school starts each year because we love our students, we love our community, and we need to invest. Um, I do not have a child in the county system at this time. In a couple years, I will. So I need to have everyone in our community invest in public education and in our teachers and our community. And I think it does take a village to raise our children because those children go on to be the industry and the, the people that we go to. 
they're going to take care of us when we're older, just like generations past have taken care of us when we went through the, the system as well. Um, but I have full respect for everyone. I don't want it to become a public school and a homeschool debate or, you know, raising taxes. Let's just work together to find the funding and allocate it the way we can. I do think that um, Dr. Bishop and our county um, board of supervisors and all of those that support us, they do the best that they can. And we just want to continue providing excellent education and support for our children because they are the next generation. So thank you.